What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction. So I decided a little I decided to make like a little uh, video series on Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. For those of you guys who haven't really completed all the socks or are having trouble finding the socks, I made like a little video series basically uh, you know just telling you guys where to find the socks and just basically giving you guys the locations on where to find them. Um, this is targeted specifically for people that have not played Battle for Bikini Bottom ever, even in like back in the GameCube days. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, make sure to follow me on on Twitter and on Instagram, and make sure to be subscribed for this channel for more Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated content. So in this episode of the Sock Guide, we are going to be focusing on the first part of of Bikini Bottom, as well as Jellyfish Fields. So let's begin with the first sock. So the first sock is in the library of Spongebob Squarepants, basically in his house. All you have to do is get the beach ball and hit the button on the wall and hit the button on the floor to basically uh, unlock this little platforming area where you could actually get your first sock. The next sock you should go for is in Squidward's house. So basically all you have to do is destroy every single thing in Squidward's house just to get the second sock. As for the third sock, it basically involves you talking to Patrick and he'll tell you about how his socks are missing and he'll basically give you just one to start with. In order to get the fourth sock of the game, all you have to do is go into Patrick's house and just hit the sofa. So now that we've gone all the socks that we possibly can in Bikini Bottom, now it's time to focus on Jellyfish Fields. So right before you pay off your debt for the bridge, if you turn to the right, you'll be able to come across these little platforms and eventually you reach this little cave that contains tiki's, which involves you just basically destroying them and there will be a sock right near the cliffside. So once you finish paying off the bridge, you come across this little more open area and there are some cliffs that you could jump on and eventually one of them will have a switch. All you have to do is stomp on them and it will lead you to your next sock. So for these next two socks, uh, they're pretty close to each other. One of them involves you going into the left side and attaining this sock that's right on a waterfall. And on the right side, all you have to do is jump on these bouncing flowers until you make it to Jellyfish Rock and it will contain another sock for you to attain. So after talking to Mermaid Man in the beginning of the second part of Jellyfish Fields, you are going to have to go down this slide which actually contains two socks, one at the end and one in the middle. So the first one requires you to make a sharp right turn, eventually it will lead you to a sock. And the second one involves you jumping on a platform to reach the next sock. So once you have the ability to play as Patrick, make sure to warp back to the little hook spatula so you could end up being in the first part of Jellyfish Fields where you could finally throw the ice fruit into the water, thus handing you your next sock. The 12th sock is actually located in the middle of the jellyfish caves where you have to throw the watermelons and stack them on top of each other to reach the next cliff. So once you reach the middle cliff, all you have to do is turn around and you will see a sock behind you and all you have to do is jump to that next sock. Once you have gone down the slide in jellyfish caves, all you have to do is throw the ice fruit into the water to reach your next sock. So as you are climbing the mountain in the third part of Jellyfish Fields, you come across a series of platforms um, which eventually will lead to a sock. So there are two ways to do this, obviously, is to go through the first platform and, you know, just keep jumping to the next one and to the next. But if you are near the Duplicatotron, you can actually just simply jump to the third platform and just basically cut a little bit of time. So right before heading to the seesaw that leads to the top of Spork Mountain where King Jellyfish is located, there is an alternative left path that you could take that leads you to the 15th sock. So right after beating King Jellyfish, you'll go, you will have to go down a slide, and all you have to do here to get the 16th sock is jump down to the right where you'll see a lower part of the slide and it will take you to your 16th sock. So at this point you have already reached 16th socks, but if you actually look at the menu, you'll notice that you're actually missing two socks in Jellyfish Fields. Don't worry about that. We will get to those eventually, but as for right now, we are not able to attain them just yet. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, that's going to be it for the Jellyfish Fields Sock Guide. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. My name is Triforce Addiction. I'll see you guys next time.